room, Pat. I'm eating yellow pepper. Braden Eidenschink knew the routine of the hospital. He's been in and out of them for so much of his young life. Braden got a new heart. It wasn't easy, but there was one bright spot to ease the pain and worry virtual reality. It distracts him from what they're doing around him. He would put the goggles on and they'd numb him up and then the IV's done. It helped ease his worry of the pain. They call it the CHARIOT program. It stands for Childhood Anxiety Reduction Through Innovation and Technology. And it's a program where we utilize um, traditional technologies such as tablets, mobile virtual reality, uh, headsets. We have many cases where we're able to decrease the amount of sedatives, pain medications, and uh, even anesthesia. The program has videos to aid with anesthesia, screens that play entertainment during pre-op, and virtual reality games. Braden was a fan of space pups and space burgers. It's hard to take them off because they're so addicting. And they have to be involved. They have to move their body. They have to move their head um, to play the game. And so they're so focused on that that they kind of forget what's actually happening. Keenan Espiritu, who's been a patient at the hospital for more than two years, also appreciates the escape. It helps me forget I'm in the hospital. Like, feels like I'm somewhere else. It can completely transform their experience here. Which pup should I pick? We are sorry to report that Braden died from heart transplant complications after this story was finished. However, the technology developed is being used throughout Children's Hospital at Stanford, as well as other hospitals nationwide. For HealthLink, I'm Amatia Drisi.